This is the Tang Star Science Big Membrane Transport Foldable. It's composed of three pieces of paper that when cut along the seams and taped will fold nicely into a binder without impeding the binder rings. For use in an interactive notebook, cut along the dash edges to make it smaller foldable. Typically, membrane transport is taught in the form of a flow chart. If you take a look at this particular flow chart, it's very large and it has diagrams associated with it. Let's take a tour. First, membrane transport is divided into passive transport and active transport. For passive, you've got your diffusion, osmosis, and facilitated diffusion. For active transport, I've divided this into molecular active transport and bulk transport. Molecular active transport involves protein transporters, and this is then further divided into primary active transport and secondary active transport. For bulk transport, this is any transport that involves vesicles, and this is further divided into exocytosis and endocytosis. Endocytosis is further divided into phagocytosis, pinocytosis, and receptor-mediated endocytosis. All of the specific types of membrane transport have diagrams associated with them, and you can elect to have your students color them in for further understanding. Now, let's take a look at some of the features of this foldable. This particular one that I've printed out and colored um, happens to be the option I provide, which is the most comprehensive for helping lead students through a structured and guided lesson. As you can see, each type of membrane transport has a box where this, a description can be written inside, and the box is numbered, and it actually has the name of the type of transport. So you can easily say, okay, we're looking at transport method number nine, act, uh, secondary active transport. We're looking at um, transport method number 14, take a look at number two, take a look at number three. So this way, for students who really need that structure, it helps them uh, go step by step through the lesson, you can reference the number and they'll always be able to find their place. Now, another option that I provide that looks very similar to this, um, it'll look the same except that instead of having the boxes with the numbers and the labels, you'll have numbers and underlines. What the underlines do is it allows you to guide them through the labeling yourself of the different types of membrane transport. And for more advanced students, you can say, okay, Number 14, who has an idea of what number 14 may be, especially if you've gotten them to do some work ahead of time to understand this topic. Okay. Now, as for filling in the blanks, don't worry, I've provided you with a full answer key, and this answer key will contain more than enough explanations, and this is specifically to aid your understanding. And from this, you can pick and choose how much you want your students to know, so you can customize notes for your class and for your level of students. Now, when this foldable is completed, it's a great graphic organizer to help students review for upcoming quizzes, tests, or exams on this topic.